just a quick scan round, yeah. So now marking the second half of this twist out, but this twist is a little bit different to anything else we've done. This one has got 12 sides, so it's a dodecagon, or the structure itself will be a dodecahedron. So um, this requires lots of lines up. And these are all the points for the lines. And, and there they are all numbered. This should be fun. So just here having a little look at uh, what we're gonna be doing on this chimney fireplace uh, and I just had a little wander around and uh, I just looked in this cavity which I don't know if the camera is picking that up because it keeps getting the block work or focus on the block work and not in the cavity. I don't know if you can see it and then this end is even worse I don't know if you can see that in there but I think, I don't know, are they teaching this at college? Um, as you go further up here, what about this part? That's um, up on the second course. Again, I'm not sure if you can actually see it. But I think when this person comes back, we are going to have to point out that's not really that acceptable. I don't know what you think. What a day. So, uh, we've got the templates here. Mark that this is obviously half of it. The other half I have kind of positioned up there already um, but I've just got to uh, take these timbers out because obviously I was just using them just to like, offer up in place but uh, once um, I get this fixed obviously I'm going to have to find the point in the middle there uh, middle of the fireplace I'll put my laser up to get to where C and D is because that's the centre and uh, then position that. Um, but obviously I've got to get north, south, east and west all pinpointed as well to get it. So obviously it's all plumb off what we've set on the bottom. So that will be that bit. And then the other thing we did this morning was we covered the top with polythene. So if it rain, I won't come straight down, but on the sides, just to stop a little bit of um, wind getting in and hopefully a driving rain and obviously we're going to be protected from the sun as well um, just with our hessian but that's just up to there for now but as we go up we'll just um, uh, take it off and move it up higher because we don't make the whole thing into a massive um, sort of sail and just in case we get a load of wind and so this is the fireplace in the lounge. That's quite big at the moment. And that's the one in the outdoor eating area. So, here we go. So, I've got the laser set up now. You can see us on the center line of the arch. 
the arches on the curve and I want to get point C and D dead right which is just there I don't know if you can see that on C and D. Just move it, wobble it a bit so you can see it again. Just there, yep. That's why we couldn't see it. My film was in the way. Just there. Right, so I've also done from this point to get that point of the template right. And I think overall, because obviously these are just um, uh, common bricks that are going around with engineering, and uh, I was about three mil uh, difference from that to that, so that was pretty good. So I'm now going to fix that one in position, and I will then get the second half up there and do a plumb point off that point over there and just make sure they all meet up with that one. So there we go. So just a little recap on what I'm doing here. You can see I've put this template up as we saw before. Uh, all the numbers for the courses go all the way from one to 90 on each section and obviously there's 12 sections on here so you can see the numbers are quite intense I would say but um, I'm going to put a template down on the floor to get the first section but I only need to go up to 25 so I'm going to save myself a, a lot of um, finger aching by um, only marking up to 30 rather than 90 on each one so I will do these transfer all our numbers onto the next template and re-letter this because he's uh, incorrect at the moment but you can see I've just got D E and F they just correspond to the ones that we've got inside there already but as I said those templates I'll cut them down so they're only like 100 mil width uh, and they'll go around the perimeter here and then we'll put our lines from that to there so this is all plumb and as we said before on those two bearers up there I have the smaller um, section which uh, just means uh, this will be the taper so from 25 courses up from uh, not from here we've got 300 mil just uh, normal just plumb um, and then we're going to start twisting because the, the 300 will be floor level so we will twist from floor level 25 courses which will be last time I mentioned when I had the art center in place it's just above the art center by about five or six courses and then we're going to lower this one down onto that and then we will have our string lines going up to the template that I haven't got set up yet and that will be ready for the stack uh, all to be done in three weeks hopefully
so we're um, making a bit of progress unfortunately um, there was only me and Dutchy on us today because Jake um, I think he said he was doing trying to do something through the eye of a needle or something so he didn't come in so um, I can't believe he's taken up some kind of um, I don't know working with materials and stuff where he could be doing this but he did say he's going to be in tomorrow so uh, it's still a little bit dusty on there so I've just got to do that but you get the idea of um, things to come we've got to go in tomorrow just link up the damp courses inside and um, do a bit of block work just to take up um, well to think later on when we get up there obviously we're going to have to have a, a width between the two uh, flues so we've got to make preparation right down here so we'll get all the the damp um, sorted out inside there and then block off that but this is the shape of it this is the outdoor fireplace here that bit and uh, I have to say that it's a very subtle twist because obviously there's so many sides on it but I think as it goes up that's going to look pretty good. We had a um, picture that Ash did for us, our structure engineer, and uh, yeah, we thought it looked pretty good. And it is obviously starting to look like that. And just seeing right from above. See the shape of it. You see all the plumb lines going down, and each point where each course moves across one. So yeah, all good fun.
So at the minute, what I'm trying to do is set this up. So we're central of the fireplace down there. So we've kind of like got a good idea how to do it. Um, but then obviously I've got to get these bearers out because at the minute, obviously they were only put in there to support this while I set it up. But obviously if I left them in, uh, then just there, uh, they foul up the, um, the lines. So I've just marked, because we, we centered it up from down the bottom, you can see there the laser level is there. So this at the minute is dead center, but it may not be on the right rotation. So I'm gonna fix it in the middle. But as you can see, I can't stand there because I've got a massive hole. So I've just marked everywhere up on here and on the other side and also marked it where it's on there so I'm gonna slide it out fix the middle and I'll slide it back and then put all the marks so they all line up again and then I'm gonna reset the laser down there to the center point on there and then I'll just twist this round and when I'm happy with it I'll then fix it properly and then I'll be ready for all our lines so yeah a lot of work involved down there, Dutch is now getting ready to start his gathering. Jakey's just fill, uh, finishing in the uh, the two jams at the back of the fireplace I did yesterday. Uh, and then once uh, I've finished messing around up here, uh, all three of us will start doing the um, do decahedron again. Um, we've got about six courses to go before we then have to reset um, this um, template lower down and then the lines will come off uh, the nails I've got there to the nails we've got here and obviously that's where it all tapers in and every single brick is cut when we start doing that and then when we get to this point up to the the, the tires being reached on the next lift there um, is just uh, well straight but obviously still 12 sided and again pretty sure they'll be all cuts so as soon as we get five courses up every single brick is going to be cut all the way up to here so I've fixed it in the center so it pivots so it spins so I've just got to make sure that I get that point uh, in line with that line so I've now got these um, at points where the first squint started. Uh, I'll set my laser up on that. I'll beam it through the line to make sure I'm right. And then wherever the dot is up there, I'll spin that round so that that line meets it as well. And we should all be ready and fixed all properly. So back up top. Now put the line through um, to like 12, 6 o'clock. You can see the laser down there on that board. So that is now giving me a dot just there. So now I've got to spin that line round to that mark. If I can do it safely. It should be there. So that should now be centre and in line with everything down below. Just do a double check. C and D on that line, lasers there, and that line is on C and D on that template. So I'll now fix this up, just get a screw in here uh, so it doesn't move, and I'll take these uh, barrels out just so the line doesn't get interrupted, and we're good to go. So at the minute, what I'm trying to do is set this up so we're central of the fireplace down there. So 
we've kind of like got a good idea how to do it. Um, but then obviously I've got to get these bearers out because at the minute, obviously they were only put in there to support this while I set it up. But obviously if I left them in, uh, then just there, uh, they foul up the, um, the lines. So I've just marked, because we, we centered it up from down the bottom. You can see there the laser level is there. So this at the minute is dead center, but it may not be on the right rotation. So I'm gonna fix it in the middle. But as you can see, I can't stand there because I've got a massive hole. So I've just marked everywhere up on here and on the other side and also marked it where it's on there. So I'm gonna slide it out, fix the middle and I'll slide it back. So just done um, what is the unseen arch. Uh, my next job then would be to continue all this gathering. Um, so I'll actually end up a little bit on top of this when I get to the site anyway. So the all gathering, just so I can fit the flue on here, just as we have got the flue already set up. The first one, then we've got the bends to go on. And then we're aiming, you're not really gonna see them, but on our template up there, we have two circles we're gonna drop uh, either a laser or a plumb bob and um, just so when we get the bend on we can get the, the second straight one dead right for where we're heading up there that's the plan anyway That dirty stain on there. So today we've got the former at the bottom, the template with all the courses marked on. We're just doing one to fifteen now because it just keeps repeating um, back 1 to 15. I did have them all marked up right up to the 90th course, but we ain't, we're just going to do 1 to 15 now. So we've got that, and everything diminishing up to there. It's got the flues in with uh, some vermiculite round, and we're ready to start tapering in. And this is where, at the moment, obviously the only cuts we had in here were the squints that we were doing, because um, they're all cut on site. Um, but as we go up, not only are the squints cut, but all the stretches just get smaller and smaller. Right up to there. So we're now looking down onto the template that we raised up from the floor up to the 25th course, which is where we start to taper, which you can see they're all now starting to go in. So all these are on number 11 up there. And you can just see how tight it's going to get as we get higher up. So every course now is going to be cut on the stretches, and obviously as we get um, I'm going to say round about flu height here, I'm pretty sure that I can predict that we're going to be cutting down the squints as well. Um, all to get up to there, and then obviously we will have to see what the bond is like there. I could do it now, I could just take a measurement and then just work out what each side is going to be. Uh, and we might have to aim for that because we don't want too many cuts if possible. It might be unavoidable, but we'll see in a minute. And um, because above that, beyond this um, template here, we just go plumb. So whatever cuts we have in between here, they're going to continue right through the stack to the top. So at the minute, every single brick is now going to become a cut.
So we had quite a good bit of progress today. Um, we had um, Dutchy on the far side again, me on this side here, and our new chap George was round on this side. So um, it's all looking pretty good. Obviously you're going to appreciate the fact that every time uh, you lay and every time we rake out, everything from here falls down onto everything that's like protruding so um at the end of the uh, job when we get up to well i think actually when we get up to that height um where the actual metal ring beams sit on and um, we'll probably uh, get some acid wash and we might give it like a light wash the only trouble with that is we don't have a water supply up at this end so we would have to have loads of water on standby just to um, rinse it all down. At the minute, we're um, really enjoying it. It's all um, good fun. And hopefully we'll have another good day tomorrow. So tomorrow we should hopefully be halfway up those flues. So I would say, on the, I don't know, maybe midweek, of next week we should be ready for the metal steel beam and then we've got about two meters um, of the dodecahedron going up straight um, which is the stack so it is all good fun and I think we might be doing another one of these uh, soon Okay, so this morning, just been doing a little bit of maths, made an error to start off with, but corrected it as soon as I um, opened my dividers up here and thought, well, heck, that's not right. So I just double checked and for some reason, my um, calculator gave me a figure here which uh, was incorrect. So um, I think obviously I just mistyped a little bit on that. So just goes to show how careful you have to be with getting your numbers right. So from that, um, let's go through this. Um, 
basically what I want to do is I want to make up the top template that goes above that one. I don't know, well, you can just see it above um, on the next next scaffold lift there really. So I want to make another one up because um, I need the two halves. I need the inside piece to go right at the top and I need this piece to go round to do the same as what this one's doing. So when I cut it, I'm going to use both bits. This bit obviously for down here and the bit I've cut away will go up top. Like that one up there that you can just see. So what I wanted to do was uh, first of all get the diameter which is obviously right across and to get the circumference it's pi times diameter so pi is there diameter um, is uh, forget that figure is 1220 so when you times them together you get that 1833 and then I divided that by uh, 2 to get this and uh, then divided by 6 to get this and uh, when I got the 6 obviously I opened my dividers up and I just spaced them out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then from the 6 obviously I just take that measurement because that that's going to be my brickwork size and then divide that by six which gave me i think it's about 52 mil something like that so i just spaced them out just so that is the uh, the amount that each course will spin round so what i'm currently doing is just extending that line because obviously when i cut this i want that line to be on the top one and i want this line to be on the bottom one so i'll number these all up so they all correspond uh, go all the way around and that's half of it I then use the other half of my bit of ply to do the other thing, the other side, to then uh, bring it round this side to have a complete circle. That's the plan. Lovely day for it. So I will spend the next hour setting this all up and then I'm going to have to go back to a little shop in Alton Broad to get some more of these hooks. Because uh, I want to leave them ones on because we're going to save all the templates because I'm pretty sure there's a strong possibility that we're going to be doing this again. Hopefully, if it's exactly the same size, we won't have any of this sorting out to do because that will all be done. So that is the plan. So I will continue with this and do a little video possibly at the end, although there's not going to be much more to see than what I'm already doing, so perhaps not. Cold and windy up there. Yeah, 
Mahomes. <laughs>